Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video today. I am super excited. We are taking a look at this Vario Mobile, which is a class A kind of, uh, or maybe more like a super C with this awesome Mercedes chassis. It's also a toy hauler and a car fits in the back of this motorhome. We are gonna be taking a look at all the features and we're bringing you along with us. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited. Andre and I are here in Dusseldorf, Germany at the world's largest RV show. And we might be taking a look at one of the world's largest motorhomes. But before I begin, do you have to say hi to Andrea? Hey Andrea! Hey everyone! How's it going today? It is going really good, you guys. We are super, super excited to be here at the yes. show. There is so many amazing RVs. It's really, really just overwhelming. Yes, and Andrea, we're in week number three. Yes. We're super grateful to Bob Martin, Thor Industries. Yes, thank you. And Dominic over there. If you guys saw two weeks ago, we had Dominic and Eva help us. Um, here, this isn't a division of Thor, so we're kind of on our own. Um, so we're gonna do our best. If you guys are interested in buying one of these, we'll link their website down below. But Andre, without further ado, where should we begin? Look at this. This is on the Mercedes chassis. How do you say this? Actros. Actros. Very nice. This is massive. It's hard to believe to think that these make it down to the streets of Europe. Right here, it's Mercedes. You have the camera right there, so you'll be able to get that 360 view. Again, it, it's designed like a Class A, but you have the bunk over the cab, kind of like a Class C. Actually, that one's more like a Class A. So, I think that's more like a Super C. And you know what we'll do, Andrea? Uh, we'll, we'll take a look at multiple ones up here. You know what I'm saying? And uh, again, it's veromobile.com. Very, very nice. Look how the mirror is. Oh, look at that mirror. So, that mirror, so you can see what's going on right there. Very nice. Yes, ma'am. This is the 1846 chassis. Can't the open it. Locked, but I can but see the steps. here's the steps, yes, ma'am. And then look at these tires, Dre. They're the Continentals. I love those. 385-55 R22.5 with these shiny Alcoa rims. What's really exciting, Andrea, is to see these small American touches. I hate saying it like that, but like brands that we recognize. Like that, Truma. <laughs> right. That that's very funny. Right over here. You may not be able to open that, it may be locked. So that swings up. I'm not going to open it. That does swing open right there, which is very nice. Look at the door. Okay, here's what's kind of interesting. Non-frameless windows on this motorhome. Power awning with LED lights. Mid-entry door. Okay, we'll be able to open this one. But first, this one's the... Alcoven. 1050. Very nice. Here's the floor plan. Oh, and there's actually a slide out. The one thing I've noticed about European RVs, there's not very many slide outs. And then did you get all this stuff? Very nice. All right. Okay, so we have some of our components down here. Very like nice. Oh, shower, wa outdoor I mean, outdoor shower. Water. Yep, your water system. Okay, now. There's your sewer. Yes, very interesting. It's just so interesting to see how they do it different, you right. know? Right. And also, on the flip side, it's interesting to see how they do it all the same. Very nice. Okay, so here's the uh, TV. It doesn't come with it, but, oh, I'm so excited to see the inside. Me too. <sighs> oh, oh, wow. My God, look at this. Oh, man. Man. There's the little car. So this inside the garage area. Oh my, come on. So we'll leave this open real quick. Andrea, look at this. Massive. So you have your bike garage on top of your car garage. This is absolutely Unbelievable. incredible. You can see the ramp here. Yes. Little Mini Cooper. 
just incredible. So I actually really like this style because I can tell you right now from looking at it, you do not drive the car in. You put the car, you park it, and then it pulls it in, nice. which is a very smart design. Definitely. And then you even have the door that shows like that. There's your backup camera. This is very nice. Ooh, let's, uh, and then look at the slide out system. So <gasps> this is the same slide out system. You see this, you, you know who had this? Um, we Winnebago? Ha no, um, the million dollar one. The Prevo? No, Ford Travel. Ford Travel. Yeah. Yeah, very because look nice. underneath, like you don't see a bunch of like cords or anything hanging out. It's very, very like sleek look. It's like hiding everything. Yeah. Okay, we got some storage it looks like. Yep. And some other, is that your inverter? Or some other components? I hate saying this. Look how clean they look. Yes, you know it's yes. Very, it's very, very nice. It's great. Okay. Air conditioner maybe? I don't know. It's most likely. So that's something else. There's a tray I've there. noticed there's not a lot of air conditioners on the roof. It seems to be optional. I guess they don't need the well, air like we do. <laughs> this one, it will definitely come with AC. Oh. Wow. Look how big that storage wow. is. Wow. It's like a fifth wheel storage. Yeah. Look. And then their soda carriers and everything. Yep. DEF? Hmm. I don't know what that is. Oh, it just says blue. So maybe yeah. it's... She, um, Eva said Defa, she said something real fast, like Defa Blue or something like that. Okay. I don't, I don't think it's All right, open. let's check out the inside. Wait, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Matt, are you going to skip here? I am not. What? Nope. Stay true to the okay. show, Matt. All right. Uh oh, here we go. Oh my oh, goodness, thank you. thank you. Look at this, look at this crazy door. Reminds me of an airplane. All right. Thank you. Coming in, like nice steps up. Wow, look at this. This is incredible. Oh, like Is there anything there? that we should know about it? That's special or? I mean, it's already special. <laughs> it's the thing is, every car is uh, individually made for all the custom. customers. All yeah. Okay, perfect. Nice. And uh, yeah, we begin with a white piece of paper. Okay. And then we draw the car. Wow. And uh, yeah. Okay. Everything how the customer wants. Yeah. In what? How do you pronounce this? Vero. Vario mobile. Vario mobile. Thank you. Very nice. Got a bunk over the cab here. Okay, first, let's start up here. Oh my goodness. Look at this. This is America. This is not America. Oh, this, this is, is Europe. Germany. This is Germany. You guys, this oh is incredible. Gosh. This is a cockpit area. Wow. Very nice. Sit in my co captain seat. Look, we have a screen here, screen here. Oh, I could be a screen there. Driver. Very, Very nice. Very comfortable too, which I'm really surprised. The space is amazing, unbelievable. It's, it's this is a class A, class C combination. Yes, that's what I was thinking too. On freaking real, and then I actually do love the fact. See, so <gasps> hold on, hold that? on. What? There's a little door here that shuts off the cab oh. area. Maybe that's for privacy, like when you're sleeping in your motorhome. Oh. So you don't have like privacy uh, curtains or, you know, that magnet wow. that goes around the windshield. That is incredible. Or like for when you're driving. That's amazing. Now here's something else. Um, like I love this. I love this. And I do see seatbelts there. So there yes. probably is like a safety netting. And then Andrea, look at this dinette. Oh, it's the sofa too. Oh my gosh. And then look at these seats. This is what's crazy. These seats are automotive grade with the seat belts and everything. Nice. And this is a dinette that's a sofa lounge. And then look at these big tables. Here's, I love it. Here's what I'm learning about European culture, Andrea. They don't play when it comes to dinner time. No, they don't. Every meal has been three hours. And I'm like, guys, I'm just trying to eat and go. But uh, every meal has been extravagant, 
very nice. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here's the Euro cabinet tree. We've had this in some of our motor homes. Wow. Beautiful. Okay. But this uh, is just normal to them. Right. And so we have something here. You see all your components. There's your pad Lots there. Lots of fingers there. And then here, oh look, you got like a little china cabinet kind of. Yes. With your wine glasses. Here's the TV, which is cool. Um, one thing I do notice more with the European is there is a lot of carpet in them. Yes. But we have some storage over here. Beautiful. Okay. And then these windows, Matt, I guess they just give you the traditional blinds. Yes. I'm not seeing any valances, but right over here we have an awesome kitchen. Cabinets above. I can see uh, we got an induction. Yes. Okay. We've got the sink here. Okay. I don't really want to move anything around. No, no, no. Don't but move look, it. These are supposed to come out. There we go. Wow. No soft. Oh, it is soft close. Did you see that? Yes. That one's not coming open. But look, wine wow. for wine. Yo, they don't play. When it's dinner time, get the wine glasses. Matt, above here, there looks like there's storage. Wow. And so this is the oven. It is. <gasps> oh. Maybe a convection kind That's not of... a Furion. I don't know. It's very interesting. I like how the refrigerator is hiding. Yes. It's a medic, something we know. Yeah. And I guess this is the freezer here. Oh. That opens this way and that way. Oh. But I like how it's cut. See, it's connected. Yes. See right there. Very nice. Yes. I think this is the pantry. Beautiful. Wow. Okay. Let's oh, check out this oh, bathroom. Oh, wow. Oh, wait. There's more beyond hold there. Hold on. Hold on. Look, there's a pocket door here. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we are geeking out over here. Look at this. Is this the first radius shower that you like? This is very nice. I think Will would even like that. Yes, Will would like that. Look at the sink. Oh, I love the modern. Oh my Very gosh. modern. Okay, I gotta figure out. Okay, so there's a little thing here. Okay, battery died. Okay, nice medicine cabinet. And Andrea, a big shout out to the manufacturer. Yes. They, um, there's a line of people waiting. There is, I won't blame the line. So, this is incredible. Look at this we, right here, okay. I told them we'd be another nice couple linen minutes. Rack. Matt, right there, let's check that out. Hang on. Wow. They have really, wow. really just... So, something that I noticed, we see European cabinetry right. in America, but we don't see it like this. Right. Uh-oh. Oh, porcelain. This is das prime pooping position. Bing! Finally. First one in Germany. All right, Matt, I see like a ladder here. Yes. Maybe that was for the bunk. All right, so I'm gonna step up here into the master bedroom. Yes. Interesting, look yeah. at this. There are steps going up into here. Looks like we have a wardrobe there. Wow. Very nice TV behind Matt. And then as you can see, the bed is very interesting. North, south bed. I don't mind this. Yeah. It's uh, all storage, wow. incredible. Oh my gosh. Wow. Hold on, I'm gonna open these because I wanna see this myself. Okay, so this is where you can hang stuff. Yes. Wow, Matthew, we could totally do this. Oh yeah. Another closet. But I see USBs here on yes. the bed for charging. I don't know if there is storage under here. I doubt there is because of that big garage. But I mean, yeah. Yeah, oh look at that. That's why it was so comfortable. Thanks, Brooklyn Bedding. Thank you, Brooklyn Bedding. You gotta come here to Europe. <laughs> okay, Andrea, that was this motorhome. Let's now, again, I don't want to hold them people up. There's actual buying customers here. Um, let's go over to the next one. You can keep recording. All right. Just beautiful. I love this. Me this too. Is my one I'm of just the show. really surprised. Okay, thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. I do have one question. Yeah. Yeah. Matt's RV Reviews European Edition is proudly sponsored by Brooklyn Bedding, which is RVMattress.com. RVMattress.com made this once in a lifetime trip come true. They are 100% the reason why we're able to bring you the European series. Join us after the review as we bring you along to the Tower of London. Also, if you need a mattress for your RV, please search no further than rvmattress.com backslash mat. Here are the three best mattresses they offer. The first being the Dream Foam Hybrid, which is universal comfort with cooling on contact. 
Next is the Signature Hybrid, which is their best seller. It is patented Superior Sleep at a factory direct price. Or my personal favorite, which is the Brooklyn Aurora Lux. Best in class cooling technology in a premium luxury hybrid. Best part about it, it is free shipping. You get a 120 night sleep trial guaranteed and they are 100% made in the USA. All you have to do is take it out of the box, lay it out and watch it expand. Make sure you check out my video on all the different types of mattresses. I will link that video at the end of this video and in the description below. Click our link down below and use code Matt to get 20% off. Thank you again to rvmattress.com backslash Matt. Let's continue the video. Thank you. Yep. So what do these sell for? What do they normally sell for? Ballpark. The, the price? Yeah. Normally. About 1.1 million. Oh, wow. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you so Gorgeous. much. Gorgeous. Thank you. Can, can we pop in that one? Okay guys, so this is a real show and there's real people buying and inside it's, we're so grateful for them, but we're gonna take a look at the outside of all the other ones because Andrea, you didn't see this yet. Hang on, look what that one's pulling. I can't see. Right there. I don't know, what is it pulling? That's a Porsche. <gasps> yes. Wow. So, and again, you know, trust me, I know what it's like being an RV salesman, so we won't disturb them. But, see this one looks like a Tiffin Phaeton, doesn't it? Maybe. With the headlight design? Yeah, but not the, the, the design of it. Seriously. Oh, who's the chassis of this? Your guess is my guess. I've never seen a chassis See, like personally, I like that one the best. Yeah, that one was pretty cool. Now, Andre, also look at this one. This is a tag axle. I see that. Look at their camera system up there. Oh, so look, here's another motorhome that we'll be able to look at. It must be their competition. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Look at that orange bus. Oh, we got to go there. We're doing that one next. <laughs> we got to go there. Okay. What time is it? We have an appointment at 1.30. Oh, yeah. A smart car. Oh, we got time. Oh, my God. Wow. There's an orange That's our, motor home. Right there. There's an orange motor home. I don't want to make this video about them, though. There will be... Hey, guys. Hey, Andre. Make sure you guys subscribe because Matt's RV Reviews Europe Edition is coming with the fire and there's a Matt's RV Reviews motorhome right there. We will show you that in a little bit. But before we look at them, they don't matter. Oh my God, that's the one that has the Bugatti under it. Of course, and it's orange. So first, but we are very grateful. What was this company's name? Yes, we're very grateful for them for giving us a few moments. Wow. Unbelievable. Oh, it's a Mercedes? Yeah. Oh. Still. It looks like a Porsche, but it's a Mercedes. Okay. Now this looks like they're more entry level unit. Is anybody in there? I don't think so. Just walk in and out real quick. Here. Oh, maybe. Hello? Here, Andrea, take, take. Oh, wow, this one's kind of small. Yep, I'll be out here. Just tell everybody what you see. All right, I'm coming up into the steps, you guys. Let's see. Okay, this one's very, very different from the other one. But as you can see here, looks like their living area, their uh, driver, passenger seat, Euro style cabinetry. There's, oh, here's your little dinette here. We got the kitchen, refrigerator there, oven. Come in here, split bath. Oh no, not a split, yeah. Here's the bathroom. Kind of in the middle of the motorhome. 
Very nice medicine cabinets. And then over here, oh, okay. So this could be like, you know, if you don't want to sleep together and you need separate bedding, here it is. And it probably, I don't know if it converts, maybe. I don't know. I don't, oh, those are lights. Let me see this, guys. Fuse box. I'm not sure about that. But anyways, you can see that there is storage all above and around. Very cool. Lots of carpet in these Euro motorhomes. See, I actually like this style. One family in at a time. You know, especially if you're looking to buy. Right. And then look, again, kind of the garage area, not for a vehicle, but for bikes and everything. And then this one's very similar. So this must, oh my gosh. Guys, Matt's RV Reviews Europe, Europe Edition is coming to you soon. But um, this is just, this is probably for the everyday person. That's just absolutely amazing. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the, let's get this sign. You got it behind me? Yep. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the video. Thank you so much to Vario mm -hmm. Motors. We will link them down below for thank you to them for letting us tour their unit. Make sure you guys join us again next week. Matt's RV Reviews Europe Edition. We are bringing you these videos. And make sure you guys join us at 8 p.m. Eastern time so you can watch them live with us. We are super, super grateful to be here and we appreciate everything. And then also make sure you guys stay tuned. In just a moment, you're gonna see our European travel. For that, Andrea, anything you wanna say? Yes, hey everyone. I hope you guys are enjoying this. We are just having so much fun here. Yes. And uh, keep watching, because there's gonna be so many cool RVs. Yes, so now let's head over to our Europe trip. Big thanks to Brooklyn Bedding. Yes. So Andrea, tell us a little bit about what this castle is. Okay, so this castle is a long time ago, William the Conqueror came over from Normandy and conquered, Fran uh, conquered England from a Saxon king and built this Tower of London as a strategic point so they could see if invaders were coming up the Thames River, which is behind us. Nice. What's crazy is they built this so long ago. It's so uh, funny you say the, that. Yeah. Because for us, it's like, oh, this is 1300s. recent. Because this was built in, what do we say, about 1500? 1400s. Oh, so that's recent for them? Well, I mean, like, no, we coming just saw from stuff Greece. in Greece that was from like 1500 BC. Oh, really? Yeah. 2000 oh, wow. BC. 2000 BC. Yeah. That been built. Has Uhtred been in this castle? I don't think so. Yeah. It wasn't built yet because that was way before um, William the Conqueror. So, right. no. Just Google how, when was Uhtred alive? Oh, so he never saw it. I told you that. All right. Uh, welcome to Her Majesty's Royal Palace and Fortress, the Tower of London, a World's Heritage Site. Uh, my name's Yeoman Warder Darren Hardy. Darren Hardy, yeah? And I'm one of the 33 Yeoman Warders, nicknamed Beefy Us, that has the privilege, the pleasure, the wonder, the delight to work and live in this wonderful palace fortress. Welcome to my home, everybody. <laughs> up the severed and still bleeding head and hold it aloft for all to see turning to the assembled crowd who proclaim behold the head of a traitor so die all traitors god save the king and the crowd would cheer in bloodlust and rapture yeah. <laughs> 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 
the majority of the coins of the realm were designed and produced. <laughs> guys that's a tour of tower of london thank you guys so much for joining us make sure you tune in next week for another episode of matt's rv reviews europe edition